But it was a case that shocked Houstonians. A sixth grader murdered while walking home from school. Fourteen months later, this case remains unsolved. HPD thought they had the killer in custody, but two weeks ago, that man was released from jail based on DNA results. And tonight we're hearing from Andre Jackson. He spoke with our Sherman Chow, and a lot of people want to hear what he has to say, Sherman. Yeah, Mia and Len, it was quite a conversation. He originally approached several media outlets in town via email and then agreed to speak to us via Skype. Among other things, he says he has a message for the killer. Josue Flores, a name much of Houston now knows. I did not kill Josue. I'm not his killer. The 11-year-old was walking home from Marshall Middle School on May 17, 2016. Someone stabbed him more than 20 times. I would never attack a child. I would never kill anyone. He died on Fulton Street, not far from his family's north side home. Send my condolences and I pray for them. HPD says the primary suspect remains 28-year-old Andre Jackson. He was arrested about two weeks after the murder, after multiple surveillance cameras showed him running through the area after the murder. What were you doing that day, that afternoon, that evening? All I want to leave it at is that I was on my way to the library around that time. He was released this month after more than a year in custody. When DNA results first came back, the DA's office called them inconclusive. They didn't find any of Josue's DNA on me and none of my DNA was on Josue's. There was no blood anywhere on me. I had on very light clothes that day. The, the, they were trying to emphasize that I was homeless. I was a student that day as well. Jackson is also a veteran. You were a Marine? And I served four honorable years, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear defense. The U.S. Marine Corps confirms that that he was deployed in Iraq in 2008, that he was awarded several medals for his service and his role in the war on terrorism. We pretty much test the areas for uh, chemical agents and whatnot. And before finishing our interview, Jackson had a pointed message. I have a message to the killer. You know, I'm not going to do any time for you. I'm not going to jail for you. I'm not accepting your responsibility at all. I spoke with the DA's office today regarding those DNA tests. Originally, they used the word inconclusive. This afternoon, they said to me, quote, there is no match to Andre Jackson in any instance. He was arrested a few weeks after Josue's murder. HPD tells me they continue to investigate, and they believe Jackson is the right man. So, Sherman, there have been questions about Jackson's mental health. How did he seem to you? You know, by and large, he seemed uh, fluid, coherent, uh, bright. Uh, he does talk about his mental health. I spoke also with Josue's family. We'll have that at 5 o'clock. Yeah, but police have not said why they still believe he's the guy. Because there's no evidence yet. But they not, still believe he's the guy. Yes, not that they are sharing with us. They, gotcha, as, there as you go. They often say ongoing investigation. Yeah, got it. And we'll be following it. Yeah. Thanks mm -hmm. so much, Sherman. Yeah.